So I don't think that people think about what a predicament the CDC is in and Health and Human Services. Because on the one hand, they're part of the global initiative. They are. You just go on CDC's website. They have their whole, they're on board with 17 sustainable development goals, which means they want to overthrow the Constitution. They figured that was, you know, it's no big deal. They'll tell you it's it's not. It's about global health. But that's that's just nonsense. Um, it doesn't, th th this is the reason our founders didn't want CDC kind of institutions because they would use these ways to bring about medical tyranny on people. Um, but they have global health security. Um, is the existence of strong and resilient public health systems that can prevent, detect, and respond to infectious diseases threats whenever they occur in the world. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention works 24-7 to protect the health and safety and security of the American people and fight global health threats worldwide so we don't have to fight them here at home. In today's globalized society, well, CDC, we're not a globalized society. Um, just because you're globalist doesn't mean the American people have to get on board with your overthrowing the Constitution bullshit. Um, in today's globalized society, a disease threat anywhere is a disease threat everywhere. This is that same thing where if there's one infected, then we all, it's, it's just nonsense. So here's the predicament the C CDC is in is because this is, oh, this is so important, right? Oh, this is so important, except that there's still all these deaths. But then they say, oh, they're overcount. Oh, no, we undercounted. Okay. Um, they admit that some of the the um, uh, deaths uh, that they did for contributing reasons were, uh, eat, but Deborah Burks herself said CDC was doing this. If there was a car accident and somebody died, they would test them. And if they had COVID, then that was what the death certificate was, what was put on the death certificate. Well, COVID has nothing to do with um, an MV, a motor vehicle accident. However, I am sure the CDC, because they toy and they play around with everything, they just play around with words, would say, well, if they maybe were in respiratory disorder, stress it could have caused you know the, the motor vehicle accident and then their death so it could be this is how they get around this stuff this is why they're just a corrupt disgusting institution they really are I they they, 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 they can forever come up with a bunch of bullshit and that's what they'll do that's what they've been doing so they can they'll never take us off the emergency they won't because the hospitals need that continual government emergency money coming in. So there will always be these continuing COVID deaths, no matter how many you take of these, okay? That's what you have to realize, because it's not about your health and safety. It's about the money from the Emergency Cares Act. Um, more than that, what CDC, why they put themselves in a predicament, besides the fact that they got on, on, on board with a bunch of globalists at the United Nations that's just a trafficking ring, um, besides that uh, little misstep, um, they never can get out of this because they need to keep the emergency going so the hospitals and they get this money. At the same time, if they never show that there's um, some benefit, that there's some uh, betterment, there's not so many deaths, then they're failures. All of these are failures. So how many times can you keep saying that? I mean, I've said for a long time now, the science hasn't shown any success. They show that we have more diseases and problems because of them than we do cures. Obviously true. Name one cure. There's, there's not a cure for anything. Nothing. A cure means it's gone. There's not. Because they even say themselves, oh, measles is bad. Because they just pull this shit out of their hat whenever they want. Um, that's why they're just, you know, it's nonsense. But the problem is, is if you want to show that these are successful, okay, then there has to be a decrease in deaths. But they keep showing, oh, no, there's an increase. And then it's, oh, no, we overcome. So they play these little games because otherwise it makes them look like total failures, which they are. 
because we're three years out from all this COVID. We're still under the emergency. People have taken a bunch of these, and yet there's still all these deaths. So does that not show how the science failed miserably with, yeah. Does that not show that the CDC should have uh, no say-so about public health at all? Absolutely. Uh, Magnet, the nursing organization that uh, decided uh, nurses a long time ago should get involved in shared governance because it's all uh, aligned with that uh, uh, United Nations Unsustainable Development Goals bullshit. They wanted to, us to do all of that crap, uh, one, because they, they're on board with overthrowing the Constitution. Um, but two, it was because... Um, they, they, they want to push people in that direction that it's all about global health. Except that Magnet screwed up the nursing profession in every hospital pretty much. I don't care how many they recognize as Magnet. As soon as they're gone, uh, the, the administrators take all the hard work the nurses do down. Um, so they, they failed. They, they took our nursing system into total ruins here, but now they want to go global. The same thing is said for the CDC. They can't manage anything in this country, but they're going to go global and talk about how they're going to keep diseases at bay from uh, getting here. You can't even handle the diseases you have here, CDC, okay? Because it's, you know, you know, it's not about, it's not about um, protecting public safety. They should totally be uh, eliminated. Uh, there, there's no need for them. All they do is fear. My, they're, they're just, as I said, a, 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 an institution that none of us elected. We didn't elect any of these people. Um, so 2020 final death statistics, COVID-19, from the CDC's website. So you two, before you go playing games, this is from their website. 2020 final death statistics, COVID-19 as an underlying cause of death versus contributing causes. So they play with all of this. Um, like here's some things where uh, people had died. Um, millions miss missed cancer uh, screenings during the pandemic. And unfortunately, that could be why there has been more stage four breast cancer diagnosis. The number of new advanced cases jumped up first year of the pandemic, 1.9% to 6.2%. So uh, alcohol abuse, uh, stress, primary factor, uh, tons of relapses. There's no question this was a big increase in self-reported stress and big increases in anxiety and depression. Who's responsible for that? CDC, the science, and of course the mainstream media, but the, the very people that are supposed to protect health and safety, they have caused more harm. I, I, I've said so many times how they, they dis, the, the very experts, okay, of nursing, of, of healthcare, of the CDC have, were all on board and still are with lockdowns, masks, all this shit, never considering quality of life. So the minute you, you took all this quality of life away from people, it caused a bunch of relapses. It caused suicide, depression, loss of lives. Then those loss of lives get tested for COVID. And, oh, they have COVID. Put on the death certificate COVID so the hospital can get more money. Um... Yeah, excess deaths caused by illnesses left untreated and a surge in drug overdoses as well as social costs like educational setbacks and the loss of parents and caregivers. Um, and this was a new study. So, so everything that the CDC and the experts did was designed only so that they could get more money from us, us taxpayers, because to get it from the government for their CARES Act. So they're in a predicament. Because on the one hand, unless they can show that deaths decreased and these are so great, um, then they shouldn't get any more money for the CARES Act and they still want that money for COVID deaths. So they still have to make like there's an emergency. So then these didn't work. But they'll blame the unvaccinated. See, they never take any responsibility because the CDC is a corrupt communist organization and that's why all of the healthcare system is aligned with communists at the United Nations and their global health BS. They are in a predicament. 
because no matter which way they go, they show that they fail, they don't protect health, they don't protect safety, and they don't prevent decreasing of disease and illness.